Uh, this is decent. Let's keep it. So, for example, uh, you throw Frost, it takes two times, then throw clear. It's clear for two turns, Frost persists, then you move another unit and it uh, takes four damage. Frost disappears. Hmm. But they can change weather almost to do to any way, and it will be better than the current one. Hmm. I would just like weather to be dangerous. Those who play the game from the start, like imagine how dangerous weather was. You played weather, and everything on the row went down to one. In a ma in a game where cards were not from, but like cards were not like four point, but they were. Uh, like 12 to 18 at times but yeah that was like their average value and and they were also row locked units were row locked more powerful and the weather dropped everything down to one like that was insane maybe maybe too insane but that was that was powerful <laughs> I liked it weather made sense like you didn't want to get into better, but it was kind of a game of like, hey, who plays it last? But yeah, better was very powerful, but it, it stayed powerful. But after that, it just like became so weak, and at this point, like it's just really not worth playing. It's not just better, but I, I like seeing situationally powerful cards. To them, to a man. Like for example, close beat had a uh, an archetype. It was it was basically just playing units on the front row and boosting the row. It just like just spamming points on the front uh, front row, uh, melee row. And uh, if you played Frost against them, then all the units currently on the row went down to one, and all the all the units that they would play on the row would go down to one as well. And in some scenarios, you can just kill them when they are one. And that was insane. So, looks like Eldane just really wants to go for the long round strategy. And I'm kind of okay with that. I'm curious what he can do. And Frosty Valtan lost all Frost synergies. The fog, let's die in the fog. What the hell? <laughs> but yeah, the archetypes uh, tend to struggle. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Uh, they don't... You can't really build a pure archetype. You just gotta, like, mix it in. Like, you have Vault Hunt with some tribe units. And these suckers are basically in every deck. <laughs> Maybe he has a lot of elves. Don't you wanna pass? Do you wanna risk losing a card? No, he does not. Okay. Let's go to round three. I like the auto pass. It's such a huge... Well, such a simple, but like very, very useful change. It would be nice to get Jorvid's Gambit. Oh, that's good. I have five movements, so this guy could be okay. Oh, this is kind of bad. I think we're just simply gonna lose purely because we don't have Jorvid's Gambit. Which is not great. Which bronzes are one-offs? 
I don't think I have one-offs. Transform it into a uh, guy. Oh, I see. So the whole point of Aldane is just to have a bunch of trigger traps on your board. And you're going to transform it into... Oh my god. If this guy can... If this guy actually works and... Actually, he has a decent chance to win now, because I got screwed by RNG. But if this guy could work, it would be in a way that you just play a lot of traps, you have nothing on the board, and you're just gonna be like, Wow, look at me! I just play out 12 points of dudes. Not cool. I gotta play something, so I think it's gotta be an Elven Scout. Really? So, wait, you better not have an anti-spell crap. Humans, if that's off. some anti-spell crap, okay, but, wow, really? Okay. Sure. I never miss. Kill your own guy. Sure. Do you want to burn to death? So it seems like the crushing trap is not gonna get a lot, lot of value here. Maybe it will. Oh, it will. It will because these guys are gonna be on the front row. Try Eldane, please. Mm -mm, not happening. Uh, do you run Nivellan? No, we don't have him. What is this? Like, I gotta play something. So I guess we gotta play the scout. Come on. You should not have come here. Yeah, throw that into a fire. Then play the pitfall trap. Well, this is an odd game. There's a bunch of traps. Not really catching fire. It would be nice if they caught fire though. Traps on traps. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So, the plan is simple. We have nothing to move his guys. But I can replay the pitfall trap, but actually play a crushing trap. Then play a pitfall trap. Oh, actually, I messed up. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna lose. Yeah, I played the crushing trap too early. I should have played the pitfall trap. <laughs> I messed up my own strategy. I got too excited. God damn it. Now we're gonna lose. I don't have enough points. Mind games? Yeah, I kind of mind game myself. I didn't want to die to a uh, uh, Yorvet replaying the Pitfall Trap. Can I just throw him into the fire? Now I fucked up that one.
There's no way I can win, right? I am who I need to be. Yeah, that's what I wanted to prevent, and we did successfully prevent it. But... Come on, what is this? Eldin is so boring to play against. He has 12 points, he's holding it, but we can't do anything about it. That's why I used to have artifact counters, so my opponents can just like surprise me. <sighs> Maybe his last card is complete garbage. It's like negative. It's an epidemic. Let's do it. Epidemic them. We will take back what was stolen. Boring. GG. If we had something, if we had the horn, we win. We win with the horn. 100%. We just didn't have enough points. GG. Well, Eldain confirmed the champion uh, of all. Well, Square Town. Well, fuck this guy. Never mind that. GG. Uh, Roach goes away, and uh, I guess we're just gonna keep it. How did this guy get his avatar? Uh. Don't know, I didn't check. Praise be to the great sun! Yeah, I'll just go for a boost. Just for you, lad. I have to say these uh, sentries are not really providing too much value. The plan is simple. We just like screw around a little bit. And we pass in all likelihood. Killing that would be good, or just locking it. So I will actually use a lock for that. Ooh, look at that. Is there anyone here to whom I can entrust my missive? I hope he's... Ah, oh, come on. I don't know. At least he didn't delete the trap. But he probably has some uh, idea. What am I doing now? Okay, maybe we're just gonna pass. Yeah, let's just pass. Am I looking for something? Uh, okay. I can't really afford the uh, finding a witcher. This will be quick and painful. Okay. Play the hawker smuggler. Show me the coin or sod off. Witchers first. Uh, there's a reason why I didn't play the Witchers. Okay, he seems to be somewhat committed to tempo. I'm just gonna Ragnarok. So basically I have two ways to play it, I think. Either you commit to round one. Seriously from the start. Hmm. 
or you try to screw around in round one. But if you lose round one, then it's pretty bad. That's probably gonna be a lost game. Or you just screw around in round one and kind of hope that they screw around in round two, but you might have to play the Ragnarok just to push it. Then you're gonna have a long round three with your traps. The goal is to have a long round three. It doesn't matter if we go last or first, it doesn't matter. We just want a long round three. Mm -mm. So we don't have your vet, but we do have four traps. Let us sing the song of steel. So do you guys disagree with the strategy? I'm I'm really open to discussing it. Shoot day off. Just boost everything, except if you don't get it. Play a random card from your deck. Good Gwenty card! Best this this! Worth it! 8 point shoop. Now this is a bit tricky because anything that's that's a 4 is gonna get murdered. May your sword and arm be one. So I don't really want to hit the four. I want to hit fives and above. There is no Kayam! We can just move this guy into the front. Uh, probably Evan Scott's are gonna get played. It's a bit tricky because uh, Jorvid Gambit is gonna play out a horn plus a crushing trap, so this is gonna be uh, two before last. This is gonna be one before last. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. <clears throat> That's annoying. Because that's actually a good card. You can play this anytime. Well, not really anytime. Probably after we play the scouts. Okay. Oh, if I could kill Pafko soon, it might be worth it. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So currently it seems like the plan is to move uh, these two in the front, plus that, and uh, that seems like the only thing we can do. Uh, let's just play the Elven Scout. Keep in mind that uh, the Sentry is actually gonna help. gonna keep committing to both rows. We've met. I don't recall. <laughs> oh, trap country. I still need a target for the archer. I can just play the archer, then we have to play Crushing Trap, Yorvitz Gambit, or maybe Yorvitz Gambit, then Crushing Trap, then Dragoon. I never miss. But currently, we might just assume that we're gonna move to the back. Mm, 
think we moved that twice. But it's not really worth it. Okay, Jorvid's Gambit. One is a Crushing Trap. One is a Horn. Looking to dance, mate. Crushing trap in the back. But now I'm committing to first row. Oh, this looks bad. This this guy, Puff Koge, who took, who he took, is actually generating quite a lot of value. <sighs> okay, let's go with Rehi Dragoon. Onward, fry head! So I got 28. Right? I got 28. He has plus 3. I strive above all to be just. Plus what was that? A 5 or a 6? It's a defeat. Did I miscalculate? <laughs> I was damn close. Anyway, GG.